going to check this Ford ignition coil. This is a DG532 replacement. This is a FD498 Blue Streak. Um, the primary windings, you have a power, which is a pointed in, and you have three grounds. Um, the secondary, you've actually got three ignition coils built into one unit, and you'll check these just like that all the way up. You'll need an ohm meter or a multimeter. I have a multimeter, and it's a self-ranging multimeter. Your primary, you're going to start out, it's going to be, you're looking for 0.3 to 1.0 ohms. You start on the pointed end and go to each one of the squares. We have 0.6 ohms on the first. We have 0.6 ohms on the second. And we have 0.6 ohms on the third. And you want that to be between 0.3 to 1.0 ohms. Also, you want all three of these to be just about exactly dead on. We'll go ahead and go to the secondary. And we got 10.88 kilo ohms. The next one we have 10.96 kilo ohms. And the third we have 10.89 kilo ohms. Um, you'll want to, if this is a outer ignition coil and you're just trying to check it, you'll want to check for cracks in the towers. You'll want to check for cracks right around the primary to secondary. And you'll want to check for cracks around this epoxy. With this unit plugged into the vehicle, you can actually take a spray bottle with water and spray all around it. See if you have a misfire. Also, it is actually better to check this after the car has ran for a while because I've seen these become heat soaked and actually read a higher resistance, thus causing weak spark. This is off of a Ford Freestar, which Ford has used this on the Ford Ranger, the F-150, the Ford Taurus, um, numerous other Ford vehicles. There is no ignition control module on the Ford Freestar as with the earlier Windstar models. Uh, base ignition timing is non-adjustable. The PCM uses the crankshaft position sensor which is mounted above the crankshaft pulley. The crankshaft pulley has 36 minus 1 trigger teeth, which the crankshaft position sensor transmits into a DC analog signal and sends to the PCM. The PCM adjusts the ramp and dwell of the spark as well as base ignition timing and with inputs from the mass airflow sensor, sends the appropriate 12 volts to the primary ignition which then passes through to the secondary which acts as a stepped up transformer increase in voltage. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and you can check out other videos up in the corner.